Hey True Seekers, it's Nathan here doing another deck profile. Today I'm going to be coming covering Simon, Holy Spirit, and Faith. Start off with Simon has the ability that says, once per turn, for, um, you may reveal an animal from your hand and search your deck for the previous growth stage of that animal. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Simon is one of the best True Seekers because he makes a lot of uh, uh, growth stages extremely viable when they wouldn't be viable before. Um, and uh, I personally like him. I think he's like in the top, like... Definitely top five true seekers, um, maybe top three. Now to start off with, I have two Holy Spirit powers. That's because Simon only provides a Holy Spirit power, and I have just one fasting, and that's only for the Todoken that I run. However, normally um, I only really want to see my standard power cards, and that's because I run a Quillion who can just stack up to three power um, standard power card strength in my discard pile um you'll see that i have five faith that's because two of these were probably going to end up in the discard pile because i do plan on activating armorino twice so this way i can get my three in there so that way i can activate armorino all right i'm gonna move simon up here and go on to equipment cards we've got two paul's chains and one scarlet cord um Paul's Chains um, doesn't allow the anima to be activated it's attached to, but I can search for any level, any two level one anima for my deck and place them directly in my small group. This is extremely beneficial. I also have Scarlet Cord, which can attach itself to an anima, so that way I can discard that anima to remove it from my bench and search for something, or I can use it to return the anima to my hand. But these cards allow me to free up my, um, my small group. And then, move on to Story Cards. Only have two story cards this time because I filled up the deck with sinnies and hindrances. Uh, <laughs> so it has Giant Killer, which says I can search my deck for a Mega Sinny and reveal it on my opponent. Or I can remove a Mega Sinny I'm facing uh, and shuffle it back into their deck. And this one, Paul's Maws, prevents them from playing a Sinny on me for one turn. Both these are extremely valuable cards in competitive play. Next up are my Sinnies. Sapper King stops my opponent from using any level 1 Animo from their small group. Then I have Wolf. Um, Wolf says, well, while it's in my hand, I may choose to show it to my opponent and shuffle it back in my deck. If I do, I get to draw another card. Uh, Brandish and Battle Pole. Uh, these guys are really big sinnies that have abilities. Um, I try to make a lot of my animals here in this deck have abilities, so that way I can use Millstone. Um, but this one says that when my opponent adds a power card uh, from their hand to their power pool, they have to discard the top card of their deck. And then this one says that as long as the Sinny's active, my opponent must discard the top two cards from their deck in order to use their True Seekers ability. Um, along with that, I have Tollcrow. Tollcrow says that as long as Sinny's active, your opponent may not use any special power cards from their power pool to activate Animo, which means if they only have Fasting or Prayer, they're not going to be able to use their Animo. Uh, next up, I got Venomouth. Venomouth's pretty good. Uh, he prevents them, any my opponent from activating Animo. Um, in the same turn that they are added to their small group or grown. Uh, Venomouth Mega says your opponent may not activate any level 1 animal on their next turn. Uh, Lurkai Mega, which says select one animal in your opponent's small group, flip it over as long as Sinny's active. That animal may not be interacted with in any way. And Fear Crow Mega Plus. Uh, he counts as defeating two Sinnies when he is defeated, but he has the action that says your opponent may not play any cards from their hand during their next turn. And then I have uh, three equipment cards. I have uh, Paul's Thorn, uh, Millstone, and Goliath Sword. Paul's Thorn says when it can, as long as this is attached to a Sinny, excluding a Mega, every virtuous animal that is played against the Sinny has its virtue score reduced by two points. Uh, Goliath Sword says. As long as this card is attached to an opponent's Mega Sinny, they must discard the top two cards of their deck every time they play an Animo from their hand into their small group, and before applying the effects of the abilities of those Animos. When the Sinny to whom this card is attached is defeated, you, your opponent um, may shuffle any one card from their discard back into their deck. And then Millstone. Millstone negates the ability of the Sinny it's attached to, but says that the player placing or facing that Sinny to whom this card is attached may only activate one Animo per turn while less Sinny is active. So that's why I have um, all these Sinnies that have abilities, so that way I can negate their ability and then attach this to it. But it has to be attached to a Sinny with an ability. 
So I went to run some hindrance cards and run some uh, cities that had some big defense that I could attach these equipments to. Next up, got my Hightail. Hightail has the ability of retreat, so once per turn, I can shuffle a copy of Hightail into my deck that's in my hand uh, by revealing it, and then if I do, I get to draw three cards. To help me keep up with the draw, I got two server dudes in this deck, so that way I can draw a card every time I play a Faith, Hope, or Hold, or every time, uh, once per turn, I can just draw for each one of those uh, type kinds that are in my uh, a small group. And then finally, I have Flow Ultra. Flow Ultra has the swap ability. Swap um, says that you may discard this card from your small group. If you do, search your deck for any three animal, reveal them, place them in your hand, and shuffle your deck afterwards. And swap is another uh, keyword that is a once per turn. Flow Ultra is awesome. Got two Lily. Get into my Holy Spirit animal. Um, Lily says search your deck for any any level one faith, hope, or love animo and place it in your hand. Helps me get up there because I can go use this to go grab flow if I need to. I also have one prayer gwen, which has the ability that while it's in your small group, it provides one faith, hope, or love power during your score phase. This card may not be activated. The turn its ability is used. So that way I can go ahead and uh, use this as a power card in case I need to. Next up, to Aquilia on level 1, when I play him from my hand into my small group, I may choose to draw 2, and if I do, he can't be grown or activated in the same turn. I got 2 Aquilia on level 2, and 2 Aquilia on level 3. I use Simon's Effect to help me search out these cards, so I might use Paul's Chains to go grab my level 1, and I'll reveal Aquilia on level 3 to go search for Aquilia on level 2, be able to play it on the same turn. And then I can activate it with its action. It says, search your deck for up to three standard power cards and place them into your power pool. Shuffle your deck afterwards. This way I can uh, keep up with needing power cards. So that way if I discard a power card using activating one of my faith animo, I can activate him follow up and then grab a power card from my deck to uh, um, fill up my power pool again. Got two Todoken level one, two Todoken level three. And they just are big, it's just a 10 for 3, or it's a 13 for 3 if I have the Faith Fellowship bonus. And then I have one Todoken Ultra. Next up is my Faith Animo. I have one Believer. Uh, his action says I can search my discard pile for any one Faith Animo and place it in my hand. That's very helpful. I have two Hoofits. So what I'll do is I will use Believer to grab my Hoofit, because Hoofit has the ability that says, if this card's in your hand, you may choose to discard it. If you do, shuffle three cards back from your discard pile back into your deck, excluding this card. So what I'll do is I'll use Believer to go grab a Hoofit, um, so that way on the next turn I can discard Hoofit and shuffle three more cards back. Pretty helpful. Next I got Hoofit Ultra. He helps me search my deck for up to two Faith Power cards and place them directly in my Power Pool. Two trusty level ones. Um, I have hit this trusty in the deck because he has the universal cost instead of two faith. And he grows into trusty level two. Which his ability lets me uh, discard him and all cards attached to him into my discard pile while he's in my small group. So that way he can draw four cards. Otherwise he's also a two for twelve with that fellowship bonus. It's pretty good. Then we got armorino level one. Armorino level one says, uh, when this card is played from your hand to you, from your uh, into your small group, you may search your deck for one faith power. Shuffle your deck afterwards. I grow him into Armorino level two, and he allows me to grab a um, card, any card from my discard pile, and add it to my hand when he's grown. And then I have two of the Armorino level three. It says, as long as this card re uh, remains in play, your opponent's sinnies, actions, and abilities have no effect. And he's also a 3 for that 15 uh, fellowship. So I tag team him with my Todoken. And I'll get that 28 points in a single turn. And if I have Fasting, I'll have room, or Fasting and Prayer Grant, I'll have room to activate one more animal that turn. So this has been my Simon uh, Holy Spirit and Faith deck. So in the meantime, True Seekers, keep learning virtues and defeating sinnies.